Hello, hello everyone. Today, well, the ship that I'm featuring is, of course, the absolute bullshit, that is Slava, uh, featuring the terrible commander skill that is called Dead Eye. But that's actually not gonna be the highlight of this vid today. No! Today, during the stream, um, excellent PR move by the way, Wargaming informed me that I have been removed from the CC program. This is, of course, the CC program is uh, their community contributor program in which I have been for about five years? I don't know. No, maybe not five years, maybe four years. Basically, I've been there for ages. And those that probably know me from back then know that um, the streamer that I am now or the player that I'm, I'm now is much more chill than the one that was back then. Uh, in part, just to mellowing out a bit and of course in large part also to having to limit myself a bit because of the way oh, because of what uh, they demand in the program basically a lot of things that you can't say or talk about or comment on and so forth you can't really say what you really want because they get upset when you do that the reasoning for the removal was um, because they found me to be stat shaming that is using you know the in-game feature when a game ends you can right click a profile and then you can select profile uh, or you can right click a name and select profile and you can look at the stats of the players and this is something that I've been doing probably on a daily basis for the last four years so obviously when they quote that they found instances of me using that feature well that's just kind of bullshit I mean, let, let, let's be honest, if that was something that they would remove me for, then that would have happened two years ago. It wouldn't have happened today. So <laughs> that's obviously a bit of a, a blatant kind of made up, made up reason to remove me. No, the other reason that they uh, quoted was uh, they didn't like the tweets I have been making on Twitter. And this is where it got a bit interesting because one of the tweets they quoted, well, I made two tweets recently that has obviously hit a nerve. The first tweet was uh, King of the Sea, a competitive tournament. Well, they have sold their entire tournament to Wargaming. Uh, King of the Sea, of course, notoriously is opposed to adding any carriers to the tournament because, well, pretty much the entire competitive community feels that carriers break any sort of competitive balance therefore they shouldn't be included in competitive tournaments because well it will just make the games incredibly stale and boring and it will kill all tactical positioning as basically what CVs do to the game so but Wargaming has been trying to get CVs into the program for some while so what the King of the Sea statement said was they had tried to uh, reason with Wargaming, they had tried to come to an agreement, but they have failed to do so. Uh, and uh, therefore, they have decided to sell their entire tournament to Wargaming. So, I posted a tweet about that, where I quite clearly say, well, let's see if I can actually find it. I guess we'll be seeing some CVs in King of the Sea to add to the diversity that the Great Commander rework already brought us. Of course, the Commander rework, another example of a horrendous rework where, well, basically every battleship is running the same build, as you can see here, because it's the easiest and most effective one. And uh, Wargaming really didn't like that. Because well, I point out the buying of the tournament, the adding of the CVs, the commander rework, all of these things, and they don't really like criticism like that. Another reason, but this this tweet was like this was tweet was made like a month ago, so it was still a bit weird that they used that. Clearly, this thing ruffled some feathers, uh, but I still don't think that was the reason. Why would it have taken a month? Like if if they want if they wanted to use the whole stat shaming thing in this, they could have done this a month ago. Now the more interesting thing is that uh, I managed to one of my viewers on, on Twitch actually quoted me a Russian stream, and on that Russian stream they say that they will be completely reworking Denai. Denai is gonna get a complete rework. They're gonna completely redo basically the entire perk, and this was actually something that I predicted. In January, I predicted. I, I said I posted a tweet that I said uh, a nagging thought in the back of my mind is that Wargaming is well aware of how shit Dead Eye is and wants you all to spec it, only to nerf it heavily once the free respec ends and you're forced to retrain all BB captains. In the past, I wouldn't entertain the idea. Nowadays, dot dot dot. This was in January, uh, and now, of course, in February 27th, aka last Saturday. Uh, we get this Wargaming developer quote 
Dead Eye will change from scratch. There will be a new skill, probably. Details will be released in three to four weeks. So I quote my old tweet, and then I link this and uh, mention the fact that I'm getting too familiar with how this works. And uh, clearly, this really ruffled some feathers because uh, I'm pretty sure, considering not, the timing doesn't make sense for any of these other reasons that they mentioned, like none of the timing makes any sense for any of the others, I think this tweet calling out the fact that they knew Deadeye was going to be terrible, I mean, basically everyone told them it was going to be terrible, and uh, it's really changed the game to this horrible passive fiesta and kind of forced everyone to spec at. So they, surely they must have seen this coming, and this was kind of what they wanted. I'm not sure, but regardless, that tweet about the CV Commander rework and this recent tweet about um, them knowing what Dead Eye is or basically trying to get you guys to respec later, clearly it ruffled a lot of feathers, and thus I am no longer a part of the CC rework. This is by no means ba bad news, though, because honestly, uh, I've been considering leaving the CC re C uh, the, the CC rework, the CC program for some time, because I don't feel it actually gives me anything. Like besides having being being able to uh, yolo around on the press account with with a bunch of resources and stuff, it doesn't really provide me anything besides that. Like you get the occasional codes to give away, but uh, if they're not the CC container codes, then then they're not really worth much. You get a bunch of crappy camos and that's pretty much it. There's no milestone rewards or anything I can really get out of the program. And Wargaming, of course, has limited our access to the test chips so that we can't play test chips on stream. Obviously, this they, they said that this was to uh, something about the, improving the balance or whatever. And then after they impl implemented this, they added the Soviet cruisers and then they added, no, was it, then they added Manfred and then they added FDR. Both ships which were heavily, heavily said that they were completely broken and shouldn't be released, but because no one could make any vids about them, no one really knew. And then they were re released and obviously both ships were horrendously broken and here we are right now. So in general, the CCC program doesn't really add anything to me. And my community, well, as soon as they found out about me being kicked from the program, well, they all celebrated. They basically gifted me over 600 subs on Twitch, and uh, people flocked to the channel and celebrated and basically congratulated me. And that, that was really the, <laughs> the kind of mind-blowing thing is that uh, the company removed me from their partnership program, and the reaction of thousands of people was to show up and congratulate me. That really kind of shows just how badly Wargaming has alienated the player base. How badly they have kind of just like lost the trust of the player base. All these fiestas, all these fiascos that they've just been pumping out recently. We had the Puerto Rico where they promised you could just grind it and it was an impossible grind. We had the Santa's gift crates where they never mentioned that there was a shortlist that you're basically guaranteed to get a Makarov. Like, there's just been piling up these lies and this deceitful, shameful behavior where they're just milking the player base for all the money they have. And now, now that you call out some of their sketchy, like not even as sketchy things, just call out their recent Commander rework Fiesta and the fact that they're kind of buying out the tournament just so they can run it the way they wanted This was enough to get kicked from the CC program. I'm not surprised that my community is celebrating Honestly, I'm having myself a nice whiskey and I'm feeling pretty good as well because now When I actually say anything about this game when I say anything about the ships or the game or the balance or anything You guys can know for a fact that it is in no way influenced by Wargaming. Because the thing with the CC program is that they give you a bunch, they give you a bunch of freebies, a bunch of, a bunch of goodies, and in return they kind of get to have a fair bit of control, like they get a leash on you. You can't say some things, you can't do other things, they, they, can, they can complain about things you do and say and so forth. But right now, I can without any doubt and freely say that Wargaming has absolutely no control of what I say or do regarding this. And that's something no CC can say because of that kind of invisible leash that Wargaming has on their community contributors. So I'm actually quite quite glad, in fact, I posted a tweet about this. <laughs> you know, the, the scene in Braveheart where he screams freedom? Yeah, I put Mel Gibson shouting freedom on that tweet because that's kind of what it feels like. I no longer have to toe the line, I no longer have to obey, like, 
follow up, do what do what they want you to the line and so forth. Like I and especially now when they're making so many terrible decisions. Like honestly, look at that dispersion. Did, did we really need to buff all these sniping bullshit ships? Like, did we really need to make life easier for the for the Slavas and the Thunders? Like, were these ships these ships already ridiculous? Why did they need to become even more powerful? Who thought this was a good idea? This is a terrible idea! This commander rework is a complete fiasco! It is a disaster! Like, most of the DD builds are just straight up better, unless you're a gunboat. The cruiser builds are basically, you build lighthouse, aka you're spotted for the moon, and you can see a snipe, or your builds are just objectively worse. Battleship builds, well, secondaries have been nerfed, and brawling is just a gone conclusion. You build Deny, and that's pretty much your only options. The, the skill is so silly because it's so, so powerful. And then you have carriers who have basically gotten a free reign of a bunch of damage dealing buffs. The carrier rework is a damn disaster! A and the fact that we predicted this! This is the worst part. We, we mentioned this multiple times when they were trying to squeeze this out. We were like, you can't push this on live without having tested it at all. It's a terrible idea. Like, even things you have tested, like the CV rework, which you tested to some extent, when it actually went on live, it was still a disaster. It's still a disaster. And the Commander rework, man, how many times did we tell Wargaming that, please, like, at least run some PTS tests on this thing. Run some extensive testing on this stuff. Don't just squeeze it out on live. And they just instantly shoved it on live and basically made all of you they're beta testers and <laughs> this we've seen the results man people just sitting across the snipe uh, across the snipe across the map sniping yeah, each other the gameplay has gotten objectively worse because once again wargaming refuses to listen to anyone but themselves and this is a common trend like for some reason people think that wargaming actually listen to us cc's here's a spoiler they don't care about we cc say at all they completely ignore everything you say. They don't listen to super testers, they don't listen to clan super testers, and they most certainly not listen, don't listen to CCs. The only thing Wargaming cares about is what Wargaming thinks. Anyone else? Completely irrelevant. They, they doesn't even, like, it, it doesn't budge them a single bit. And this is something I've honestly wanted to get off my chest for a while now. People keep saying, why don't you guys talk to Wargaming and do this, and why don't you guys ask Wargaming to do that? We have tried! Oh my god, have we tried! You I must have lost count of the amount of time I see this huge essay. Like, every time someone is added to the CC program, I, like, I've been there for four years, I see these new CCs being added to the program, and I see them kind of hopeful, like, hey, yes, we have a direct line to the devs, and, and they post these long, thought-out feedback things in the channels, and, and they give this long feedback and stuff, and the more game, it just ignores it and ignores it and ignores it and ignores it and then you see like a couple months later they just stop posting because they realize everything they say is going to be completely ignored it's not going to have any impact that it's going to be ignored this brindisi has actually been doing a pretty good job of dodging my shells so i use the minimap circle by the way something that uh, wargaming told us won't affect the gameplay in any way <laughs> But they told us that with a straight face. It's not going to change gameplay at all. I use the minimap circle to aim exactly where he's going. And he can't see me because he's behind the island. So I'm shooting while undetected. And with Deadeye and Slava's bullshit shells, well, he has no idea that as soon as he comes around the corner, he gets devastated. And I pick up a juicy Kraken in the incredibly balanced Slava with the incredibly thought out skill of Deadeye. 315,000 damage. I don't think I left my spawn once. Um, 13 citadels, 5 kills. Yep, this was very engaging gameplay. And once again, this gameplay has always kind of been like this, but they've actually made it worse. 3.1k base, probably the least effort I put into a 3.1k base game in my life. But with the new captain skills, it's even easier to just sit back and snipe, snipe, snipe. Especially in ships like Slava. Soviet ships that never existed, but for somehow they have the best ballistics of them all. Because in fantasy land, Soviet ballistics are the best ballistics. Detail report wise, potential damage 426,000. We're a battleship. Obviously that doesn't mean we have to tank, right? All that's important is that we can deal a lot of damage. 231 shells. Note that with 111 hits, we all, we're, we're approaching almost 50% accuracy. And considering we were basically taking pot shots across the map the entire game, um, what's the point of closing the distance? Uh, not a whole lot. Anyways, that was all for me. 
thank you guys for your support and I will be continue making videos I will continue streaming as normal but this time it's gonna be my unfiltered opinion my unfiltered thoughts and no one is gonna have a goddamn say on anything I say or do or think and I will most certainly keep calling out Wargaming on their bullshit they didn't like it in the past they're probably most certainly not gonna like it in the future but that's just the way it's going to be peace out